Okay. Hello everybody. Today the case that we are going to discuss is a unique case. Again a very uncommon finding but a very characteristic finding. This is MRI images of the brain. First image that we are going to look at is MRI brain axial image T2 weighted image. Clinically this patient presented with altered sensorium with a suspicion of meningitis written on the requisition form. Now let us see. Now what do you think? T2 weighted MRI image what do you think? Are you able to see small 2-3 mm hyper intense areas in the area of the cerebral peduncle and extending into the ganglio-capsular region? Let us look at the same case on another T2 weighted image. Yes, and we are able to see small punctate T2 hyper intense area in the ganglio-capsular region bilaterally. Nothing else, any anything else do you appreciate on this scan? Okay. Now let us look at the flare image. This is a flare image and we can appreciate there is sulcal hyperintensity on the flare image with some hyperintensity in the basal cisterns and the cerebral sulci appear effaced. T2 T1 weighted image of the same patient. The Areas which were seen as T2 hyperintensity are now seen as T1 hyperintensity again in the area of the brain stem and the ganglio-capsular region. Okay. What do you think is the diagnosis? Effacement of the cerebral sulci, flare hyperintensity, clinically suspected meningitis and punctate areas of T2 hyperintensity in the brain stem and the ganglio-capsular region. These findings have been found to be characteristic of a disease called as cryptococcal meningitis. These findings are characteristic of a disease called as cryptococcal meningitis. Now, how do we recognize cryptococcal meningitis on radiological images? Cryptococcal meningitis is a chronic meningitis which you, where you will see exudates in the basal cisterns and these exudates, gelatinous exudates, they spread via the perivascular spaces which are also called as virtual robin spaces into the brain stem and ganglio-capsular region. So this appearance of punctate T2 hyperintensities in the region of brain stem and ganglio-capsular region along with basal exudates is characteristic of cryptococcal meningitis. And we advised CSF study of this patient which was found to be India Inc. positive. So we can recognize, moral of the story is, we can recognize cryptococcal meningitis on radiological scanning. Thank you very much.